say so what's good nigga look bro i know a lot of y'all gonna make hella builds hella archetypes and you do not feel like grinding your goddamn badges my nigga so look if you're looking to get your badges grinded or even accounts hit up my man his link will be in the description to so make sure you tell him i sent you send a screenshot of you telling him that to my dms on twitter my my twitter will be in description also and he also sells fortnite accounts too so if you want to hit him up for that Go do that, man. It's supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? One man, one show! One you army, nigga! <laughs> I'm a go! God, nigga! What? Really, nigga? What's good, bitch ass niggas? How y'all motherfuckers feeling, man? So look, bro. Okay. We got a lot of shit to talk about, bro. I am going to give you niggas the solution, okay? Hopefully Mike sees this. I don't know, you know, I think he's seen my video talking about the whole shot contest shit, nigga. And, you know, the gameplay patch tomorrow, nigga. You know, we gonna talk about the, the patch details later on in the vid. But I want to focus on two things before that that I think need to get patched and implement it in the game, all that. I don't know, y'all niggas, oh, you suck a billion dollar company's dick. Talk positive. Shut the fuck up, you know? I'm, I'm all about trying to just make the game better overall, bitch, okay? Um, my fucking opinion, you can't have yin without yang, nigga, okay? So, you know, shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't like it, get the fuck off the video, nigga. But look, make sure y'all subscribe if you know. I love all of you. And spam the fucking like button to help y'all nigga out. But look, bro, so let's talk about this, bro. And this has been in 2K. And this this year, it's the worst, nigga. So when you, any dribbler, okay, if you guys have to understand, if you suck or you don't ISO or you don't have a dribbling build, you don't understand how influential and problematic this shit is, nigga, okay? But I have a solution to that. Okay, so to be able to dribble in this game, it's it's basically pay to dribble. That that's what it is basically. You have to buy Gatorade. Okay, that's cool. In previous two Ks, you could buy Gatorade, then just go to the park and play. Until you leave that park, then it would disappear. Okay, you know, eh, you know that that shit's annoying, but you know I get it. But now they got it to where, nigga, if you run up a streak or anything that shit is gone like say say you bought six of them and then you go play that shit's gone in six games that's fucking toxic it's pay to dribble then you like you y'all niggas saying oh stamina like you little old but look 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 at it like this bitch okay they make the game this is it's literally finessing guys it's literally finessing listen to me bro games shouldn't do this man this, this shit Nigga, it, it comes to a point to where you're never earning VC. That's the whole thing, man. I don't, I'm trying, I'm on some free world shit, nigga. You know, we already bought the game. We're already buying players. Now we have to buy to dribble. We have to buy to shoot. They make the game in a way that to be able to shoot efficiently at the top tier, you know, to consistent green lights, consistent shots, you have to buy jump shot boost. To be able to dribble and have enough stamina to be able to do some shit on some niggas, you have to buy Gatorade. So then, what, what, and then it's gonna be just like last year with the ankle breaker shit, I'm not too sure about that. To be able to break ankles at a, at a high rate, you gotta buy ankle breaker boost. And then you guys might be like, oh, don't do it then, buy, you don't waste your money. But what you guys gotta understand is other niggas are gonna do it. So you're playing other niggas that have a distinct advantage over you. So you're basically forced into doing it if you take it any type of serious. That shit is fucked up. Y'all don't think it's fucked up? Let, let me know. That shit is fucked up. They make the stamina so low to where it like, and then and then look, here, here's another big problem. You guys have to fix this. I, I need all of y'all who watch this video tweet them individually 
Baluba and Zach Timmerman and shit, because I guess they look at YouTube videos and read um, mentions and comments. I guess that's part of their job and shit. So look, listen. You're, you're, so say I go on a streak, right? Say I bought like 20 jump shot boosts. Say I bought like 20 Gatorades and I read and ran the treadmill. So all my stamina will be depleted, right? So basically, if I go on a streak, I become at a disadvantage later on. Shouldn't it be niggas who are streaking get some type of advantage or XP or fucking like some type of like get their attributes up or some shit instead of now being at a disadvantage to people coming to play you while you're on a streak you're you'll literally run out of stamina then niggas will come and play you while they have stamina that's fucked up yeah y'all don't think that's fucked up uh, it's, bro uh, you have to agree with me unless you just a bum ass stupid nigga but like come on nigga like come on mike y'all <laughs> what the fuck is this you know but look, here, here's here's what I want, man. I want it to be like the previous years to where if you go or buy Gatorade, it should last the whole time you in that fucking park, okay? Just like on 18, okay? It it should be like that, my nigga. The same with stamina and your, your little jump shot boost and ankle breaker boost, or you just giving niggas advantage when whenever someone else is streaking. Like, like just imagine this. Say... Okay, I'm streaking, right? I go on a 50 game. Then comp pulls up. And they're they're facing me while they have stamina and jump shot and ankle breaker boost. Come on, nigga. That's fucked up. That's not fucked up to you, niggas. That's fucked up. What? So now everybody's going to walk off their streaks to go re-up and shit? I know I'm going to do that shit. Y'all got me fucked up. I don't give nobody no fucking advantage, nigga. But look, bro. So... Here's another thing I want to talk about. Now, with this 2v2 shit, the XX glitch, if you guys don't know what the fuck it is, bro, it's a huge exploit, bro. It's what stretches do. They just burst around behind the the, the inbounder, and they get an easy three. It's it's It takes no skill. Niggas have built, built holy little YouTube careers off that shit, nigga. It literally takes no fucking skill. It is the most exploited shit in the fucking world. They even do this shit on threes. Now, if you niggas don't understand, you have to understand, man. I'm talking from a competitive standpoint. If you don't play nobody, you know, you don't understand, nigga, how toxic this shit is, bro. Look on YouTube. Play someone and you'll see. It's toxic as shit. But look, I've come up with a solution to fix that. Y'all need to spam these niggas this shit, right? This might make a lot of people mad because they don't want to, they, they don't want their exploit, you know, patched. But look, if they make it to where the inbounder is, can't get ripped, like, you know, on 17, they can get ripped, right? If they make it to where the defending person who's guarding the inbounder can move, then that would basically stop the XX glitch. That would stop all that shit, nigga. Because while he's glitching and shit, then the nigga will be able to play sides on him. And then it will be much better, you know? But y'all mean, oh, backdoors. I mean, you can still get backdoored, but fuck that shit, nigga. It's worth that sacrifice to be able to stop that shit. Because that, that's some clown shit. That makes your game look stupid as shit, Mike. I'm not going to hold you, nigga. That makes your game look fucking stupid. A little kid can master that shit and be a fucking god. That shit... And then this year, it's even harder to get, you know, through the defender and shit. Like, it's very toxic. So, yeah, man. I hope y'all eventually fix that shit. Now, l let's talk about this patch shit, man. So, look. Before I get into these patch notes and shit. Well, not notes, but what Mike Wayne is tweeting. You niggas have to understand. Oh, you complaining about this and that. Blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. You don't play no one. You don't understand how toxic shit can get, bitch. You understand? Okay? And when you start playing people and shit, and then, you know, then come back to me. You feel me? Like, every... Let, let, let me just get into what he's talking about, bro. Mike Wayne tweets out, Gameplay tuning update tomorrow morning. Brings a better balance to perimeter. Buffed. 
versus inside nerf. Shot contest for fewer blown layups and less OP outside shooting. That is amazing. Less OP outside shooting. Okay. Um. I hope it's just when it comes to contested shots and shit. Uh. Then he says, and also a slight reduction in the effectiveness of steals out of body ups and fadeaway threes. Steals out of body ups and fadeaway threes. What the fuck? Who getting stolen from fadeaway threes? I don't know what the fuck that nigga talking about. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, don't, I can't really comment on that steal shit because I haven't played much. So Mike Wang also says, if you're already taking smart shots, you shouldn't feel much of a difference. See? Period. Period. Okay? The shit gotta get packed. You just can't have the same game forever. There's a lot of exploits and fucked up shit in it. It's not anybody's fault for complaining if shit goes left. That's they fault. They patched the game into oblivion, nigga. You know? They fucked it up. We trying to get shit, you know, somewhat balanced, you know? At least that's when it comes to me. Some other niggas be bitching about bitch shit, bro. I'm talking about real game exploit shit. You feel me? But um, then he says this update will help reward good perimeter defense and punish people for forcing contested shots. I should probably make it even stronger, but I don't want to make drastic changes. I want that shit strong as fuck. Do it, Mike. Do it. No more contested shots. Nerf that shit. Fuck it. Fuck these niggas, man. Fuck these bum ass niggas, bro. Mike Wang tweets at someone. Open slash wide open jump shots won't change. That's beautiful. So if you have a problem with what he's saying, like you 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 suck. Like you know you know you like you like dick in your mouth and shit. You know you suck. Okay. Blueber replies to this guy again. Jump shot contest will be a little bit stronger starting tomorrow. So some shots that were open might fall into lightly contested category or lightly contested into heavenly. The percentages associated with wide open and wide open won't change. Look, hey, any of y'all see my contested jump shot video? This, this is all this shit I was saying, nigga. You know, I might wait watching it, nigga. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, says it'll be modern and clean. So he's gonna be remodering the feedback. So y'all let these niggas know, bro. Don't be on no bitch shit, my nigga. But look, that's the end of the fucking video. I'm gonna be streaming later tonight on Twitch. Make sure y'all fucking follow me. Subscribe to me on Twitch. Support a young nigga. I got the flyest emotes in the world. Sub benefits. You get added to my fucking PSN. You can pull up and get your shit dropped the fuck off, nigga. Get exposed live on. Live on stream, concert by Swan, nigga. And um, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Follow all my other social media. Go watch my last video. I got a lot of badge tutorials. I got um a lot of tips on player builds and all that shit, bro. And my build. And um, yeah, I'm out this shit. Make sure y'all drink a gallon of water a day. And um, fuck what you heard. Recognize the verb. Blah blah blah. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Adios.